Welcome back to more Sunday League football with our reserve team. And right now on this channel, it seems like we're playing the same teams all the time. The latest game from the first team, which you can check out on the channel, was the third game in a row against the same team. Today's game for the reserves is against Woodlane, the same team we played last week. And just like last week, of course, it's the same scenario, top versus bottom. Really, the question everyone's asking is, when are we going to face Wakanduna? That, unfortunately, we don't know right now, but if the fixtures are anything to go by, it'll probably be two weeks in a row. Something I can definitely tell you, though, is today's starting lineup. And it looks like this. In between the sticks for this one, we've got Frank, we've got a back three of Scottish Ainsley and Pep and it's another three in the middle we've got Liam Charlie and Alfie the two on the wing we've got Sam left wing Hassan on the right wing which leaves two up top today new signing shove and of course Wazza as well what about the bench any of these three can come on at any point we've got Jordan we've got Bill and then we've got the gaffer it's Kev so it's a few handshakes and then it's pretty much ready to go in this one should we do this of course let's do this <laughs> So if you checked out last week's video against this lot, you would know that there's plenty of goals. I won't ruin it if you haven't seen it yet, but we're looking to get some goals early on here with Shove as he approaches the edge of the box. He hits it with the left there, goes past the keeper, but hits the post. Unlucky. Moving on, we've got Hassan on the halfway line, changing direction there and poking it forward to Liam. It's a first time pass from him out to this near side for Shove. He's then going to look to deliver a ball into the box, which he does. Back post for Sam. It comes off of his chest into Wazza, who looks to get it under control, but the number three blocks it. And that, my friends, is what you call a corner. And what's going to happen from that corner? Well, I'll show you. It's delivered by Charlie. It's over over everyone's head and it bounces out for a throw on this near side. That throw is then taken into the number five. He then looks to clear it up the field but it comes off of his teammate and that is out for our throw. Let's see if we can carve anything out from this throw. It's Scottish into shove. A little bit of skill there but it doesn't quite pay off but he does get it back straight away. He then looks to make his way into the box but taken out by the number six on the edge. Referee says no to that and then it is eventually cleared out for a throw on this near side once more. So here we go again. Scottish throw into shove. Does well to get beyond the five here. Puts it up for Wazza. Oh. And there you have it, just after five minutes we've taken the lead in this one. Of course it was good work from Shove to muscle off the number five and get the ball into the box, that's where we want it. Of course on the end of it was Wazza with that bullet header to secure his fifth goal of the season. Not normally associated with his headers before. After checking out the goals in the group on WhatsApp that evening, Gonzo was impressed with the header. Didn't see it because he was climbing Frank. What does that even mean? I'll tell you what it means. Saggy net. Sunday leg problems. Kick off and we continue with Shove laying it off to Charlie here. First time ball from him. Up to Hassan, but it's the keeper that's off the line quicker to collect. Is that keeper involved again now, sending it up towards the halfway line, straight back from Scottish as it falls to Hassan, nodded on into the path of Wazza. He threads it through to Hassan, who's one on one with a keeper here. Yes! 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 And just like that, it's 2 0 to Palmer's FC. So that's a goal and an assist for Wazza as he screams out to be played up top more. Of course, Kev's got a bit of a headache now with Shove. Greavesy returning soon as well as Perry. But this goal right here was Hassan's as he stuck it past the keeper. Help from the post there to make sure it went into the back of the net. That's his third of the season, drawing level with his twin brother, Jamal. They seem to be playing alternate games at the moment. I said it a couple of weeks ago who's going to come out on top come the end of the season? Kick off, and this guy's back. <laughs> And then up the other end, we've got Hassan on this near side, playing it inside to Wazza. He gives it back to Hassan. He looks to drive into the box, caught by the number five there. And once again, no free kick given by the referee. But play carries on, shove on the edge of the box. Lays it off to Wazza here. He looks to give it back. That's blocked by the three. And out for... No, no corner. So we continue in search of more goals. And we're starting from the back with Pep. He gives the ball to Charlie. He takes a touch, turns, and plays it up the line to Sam as he sprints beyond the number 18 there. He almost tries to drag him back there as he dinks it over the keeper for shove's header. Oh! Off the top of the Denver. 15 minutes in and we're making a substitution. Bill's on the field and uh, it's Hassan that's had to come off. Didn't know what was wrong at the time, but he realised afterwards that he was on a bit of medication and uh, seems to have done him in somehow. So from there, we continue with Shav, who's being hassled by the defender here. Ref gives a free kick for... Um well, that. We tried to take the free kick quickly, but ref wants it back in the original spot. Charlie looks to skip past the number six. Here we go. It's Bill. Just come onto the field, taking a free kick over the wall, into the keeper. He's dropped it. Back on the second time of asking, but we're going to need to test him some more. Kev. Kev. Deliver! Looks like Kev's not listening as Sam makes his way into the box, tries to cut it back for Wazza, but it's the number five that intercepts, uses his strength to knock Sam off as well, and now they can get on their way. So if you haven't worked out already, this one's going to be very similar to last week. Attack, attack, attack. The shove gets the shot in there, blocked by the keeper, and that's going to be a corner. Corner's sent in by Charlie, but arrives on the edge of the box where Ainsley is. He gets the shot in, but that's blocked. Falls back to Bill, goes back out to Charlie. Another chance to deliver. In it goes, but it's gone beyond everyone. Is Alfie now. We haven't really seen much of him in this game so far. Up to was a nice little back heel to give it back to Alfie. He's in on goal here, hits it, that's blocked once more. He's Scottish going head to head with the number five and, and loses out here as he plays it forward to the number nine. Turns, gets away from the challenge with Bill. He gives it to the 14. They're going to get a shot in here. That's going to be straight down the middle and very easy for Frank. Is Liam now looking for Alfie, but he's blocked off by the number eight. Nope, he's missed it. He's gone into the path of Alfie. Sticks it across for Wazza. <laughs> 
To be honest, he's had enough stick in recent weeks. So he's just going to move on from that. It's still unbelievably only 2-0 in this game as Charlie picks the ball up from Scottish. He's going to dink it over the top of the number eight for Alfie here. Can he get the shot in? He can. Oh, lucky lucky Alfie. Alfie. We go again and it's Charlie going beyond the number 18 here, looking up and playing it out to Wazza. Charlie's continued his run. Wazza spots it. Into the box he goes. So there you have it, a chance to make it free from the penalty spot and it's Charlie that's going to step up to take this one. Well played, Chaz! Yeah, Chaz. Yeah, that's Palmer's FC Reserves free, Wood Lane Athletic nil. Get off. Not long after, we're pressing for a fall for Scottish plays it forward to Bill. He nicks it across to Shove. He's under pressure from two players but gets the shot in here. Oh, yeah. That's two in two minutes, making the score 4-0. Good work from Bill there to get the ball across. Bad challenge from the defender though. But it did arrive with Shove who was Squashed between two players, still managed to hang on to the ball despite that. Got the shot in as well, through the keeper's legs. And in his second game for the club, he's got his fourth goal. Following that, we have a kickoff. Not much else, but number five's down. Number 18's off the field trying to help him out. And either this is the way that this guy walks, he likes skipping, or he's actually got an injury. It looks like he's going to help him carry him around as well. No, he's not. Just the 18. That was a wasted journey. Actually, you know what? He might need some help. But now they're all moaning at each other. The keeper's having a go. And believe it or not, this actually went on till half time. That, my friends, is all I've got for you for this half. Let's hope we can come out in the second and get a few more than we did in the first half. But until then, it's time to give you guys a little bit of appreciation. Have you managed to grab our kit from palmersfc.co.uk? Sponsored by Kit Locker, of course. This guy did. I'm pretty sure his name's not Zombie. But what I am sure of is he's very happy with his orange long sleeve number. He's got the 17 on the back and his name. Good times. Enjoy. Here's another one. It's Sonage Gaming. Got his orange shirt and he's out and about playing five aside in Oxfordshire. And it looks like that is actually near a place called Palmers. Love it. Keep him coming, guys. If you manage to grab a shirt or any other bit of merch through Kit Locker, then send us a photo and we'll be sure to feature you in these videos. I have actually had a note from Kit Locker to say that if you are purchasing for Christmas, the last date was the 6th of December. So, don't buy them now if you are intending them to be Christmas presents. Anyway, back to this one. And this is where I normally say both teams pretty much ready for the second half, but they're not. Bags are being packed. Boots are being taken off. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. They've had enough. Referee's going to call the game off. And this will be one of those things that the league have to deal with. I mean, let's be real. This team are being tanked every single week at the moment. So I can kind of understand it. I'm, I'm actually surprised that they haven't folded already. I'm not sure if the arguments before halftime had anything to do with it. But this is essentially where we shut the camera down, pack away, and head to the pub early. But wait, something's happening. <laughs> They suddenly came back out and said they're going to play and we're scrambling to get the camera on the tripod. But good news is we've got another 45 minutes. Let's do this. Straight away, we've got a throw from Bill over that far side into shove. He goes down, but Charlie picks up the scraps, fires it, but that goes across the face of goal. Moving on, it's Sam with a throw on this near side. Now into Bill, gives it back to Sam as he gets it under control. I think he might be looking to get into the box, but surrounded by blue shirts, gives it to Bill. who's going to shoot. Yeah, we got another, and it comes initially from Bill's shot. Took a deflection off the defender. Shove poked his leg out, stuck it past the keeper. That's his second of the game, fifth of the season, and our fifth two. That's Palmer's five, Wood Lane nil. Kick off. The one-way traffic in this game continues, and it's Scottish over that far side, picking it up, cutting it back, and looking to go beyond his man. And he has as well as he pokes it inside to Shove here. He goes one way, then another. Falls the defender, plays it on a plate for Wazza here. He shoots, and he's scuffed his shot, and I've just noticed he's changed the keeper. Bill on the rebounds, can't convert, cleared by the defender. Ainsley at the back now getting involved as he drives forward and plays it into the box for Wazza to run onto here goes beyond the defender on the right shoots keepers equal to it once more and again they pick up the scraps and clear their lines yep we're still focusing on this half of the pitch as Bill gets it down and plays it up the line to Sam here he then sticks it into the box for shove to run onto here's the hat trick no keeper made the save again I'm not sure that he's actually a keeper I just think he's volunteered but either way he's trying to keep this score down as much as possible right now Bill now with a throw on this near side down to Sam miscontrolled from him it's been a while since we've seen his acrobatics <laughs> Oy, oy. Here's Charlie now driving forward inside our own half, playing it up to Bill. He then sticks it forward first time for Alfie. I thought it was a little bit over hit, but it's held up well in the grass. Alfie shoots, keeper save again, but it's fallen kindly to him, and he sticks it in the back of the net at the second time of asking there. And he goes and grabs his third of the season. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, you'd favour Alfie, but keeper did well, well, as well as he possibly could. Unfortunately for him, the ball stayed in, allowing Alfie to simply tap it home, which now gives us a scoreline of 6-0. And now we're kicking off again. And we pick things up with Bill now as he makes his way forward. Looks for a pass and he's found that in Sam on this near side. He takes a touch and looks to play it inside to Shove, but a bit of pinball going on. Shove does eventually get it back for us. And now we're looking for the next pass. Nice little cut back there. And he plays it back out to Sam, who's going to try and keep this in here. And he has done as well. Looks up, delivers a ball into the box. It finds Shove. And as he gets it under control, he tees it up for the overhead kick. Doesn't pay off as expected, but it does fall back to him as he heads it out to Wazza. Oh, yes! Go, Pavel! Wally Wazza, thank you, son. Well played, sir!
another goal. And it came originally from Shove trying to do the overhead kick. And you might not see it here. As it bounces down to him from the ground, he actually heads it out to Waza. He hits it first time with that right of his. And it's straight past the keeper. He's not going to do anything about that. That's now his second of the game. On a hat-trick. Plenty of time to get it as well. That's Palmer's FC Reserve 7. Woodlane Athletic nil. And kick off. We've got a mystery thrower here. It is Sam. You can't see him right now. But Bill nods him back to him. Sam now on the field. Drives towards that byline. Sticks the ball up towards the back post for Waza's hat-trick. <laughs> yeah, you got to say that is his second one of the game. You feel he should really be on that hat-trick already. Here's Liam now. He's currently playing at the back. He's slotted in where Pep is, who came off for Kev. And it's his ball which reaches Waza on that far side there as he gets it under control. Goes one way, then the other. Eventually, he does get the ball into the box for Bill. Hey, <laughs> Yeah, he's going to enjoy watching that back. But good reading the game from Liam there to get it back for us. But the shot, well, that's let him down. Hardly any time goes by before we're at it again, looking for another goal. It's Ainsley with a lump over the top. 15 doesn't deal with it. And that pretty much sets Shove up, who just like Wazza, he's on a hat-trick here. And it looks like he's going to get it as well. <laughs> yeah, no sympathy for the strikers in this one. Score stays the same as Charlie bombs forward, gives it to Alfie. He then plays it into the box for Shove. Shove's under pressure. It will drag back from him. Sees Charlie in space, who hits it first time. But that's blazed over the bar. And it looks like Shove's not going to get the hat trick today. The tank is now empty, and he's been replaced by Jordan. Much like last week, everybody wanted to get onto the score sheet, and this week is no different. We're just hitting it from distance now. That's definitely not a test for the keeper. We continue the game with Charlie, who puts it over to the far side for Jordan. And you might notice that the ref's over here. He's got one eye on the game, but one eye on getting the hell out of here. He's actually been scheduled another game after this one, but where things sort of dragged on a little bit at half time, he's going to have to get going, which means we need a replacement while the game is still going on and what better person to take over the final 30 minutes of this game it is Troyer for years he's been grafting as a linesman and now he's got his big break on the field as this corner comes in he's headed away but only as far as Charlie his shot's blocked and eventually it is cleared it's been over 10 minutes since the last goal and I know that sounds stupid to say but a game like this where you're constantly attacking chance after chance you'd think you'd have a lot more here's Alfie now with a shot but yeah, we're just forcing it. That one blazed well over the bar. Not long after, surprise, surprise, we're coming back forward with another attack, and it's with Sam. Sticks it inside to Bill. Over the top for Wazza. Oh, it's a heavy touch, but he is going to get onto it as he shoots. Yes, Wazza! Well done, Wazza! And there it is, finally. He's got his hat-trick. Well done, that man. And so it's Bill with another assist. He's raking him in this season. And it was to Waza. Like I say, it was a heavy touch, but managed to get onto it. And from there, a simple pass underneath the keeper into the back of the net. That is Palmer's FC 8, Woodlane Athletic Neil. And yeah, we're doing this again. We continue with Ainsley in the tights today, sticking it down the line for Sam. He then plays it inside to Charlie. And it's a perfectly weighted ball back into Sam, but that heavy touch there has let him down. And it's cleared out for a corner. Charlie's going to deliver into the box. It's towards the front post, and it falls to was on. on the turn. He swiped it in and that's gone wide of the goal. Great signals from Troy there though. What can I say? Still going. Still looking for more goals and it's a flick from Alfie there around to Bill. He gets it back. Tries to play in Kev. That's over hit and into the keeper who throws it out straight away. As our opponent looks to get it under control, he's under pressure from Jordan and Scottish. The loose ball is picked up by Bill. Bill spots Charlie in a bit of space. He lets the ball run. Goes beyond the number nine. Skips beyond the eight. He was tripped but carries on. Runs into the number six but Kev's on his case and gets it back straight away. Number six swipes at Kev there. And Troy's got a decision to make. He's pointing to the spot. It's going to be a penalty. It looks like Kev the gaffer wants another goal. He hits it straight down the middle. Keep with the save but was on the rebounds. <laughs> <laughs> Quite simply, Wazza's has got four and we've got nine. The keeper didn't even have to move for this one, but it was Wazza that was on the ball, literally. And he nearly gets his head knocked off for his troubles. And I get the feeling Wazza's not trusting his left foot here. Controls it with the left, puts it home with the right. Number nine gets caught in the net. That's 9 0. Now, be honest, I didn't think we'd get there, but the search for double figures is on. Kick off. Unfortunately, though, we ain't going to hit double figures if we just pass the ball to the keeper. Hey, Scottish. To be honest, it's been a pretty lackluster end to the game. Over hit passes, just like this one here. And as we fast approach the 90, we might just have to settle for the nine. Goal kick's taken, though. And it's Bill chests it down into the path of Charlie. This time, it's an overhit ball from him. Another goal kick. But there ain't going to be no time for that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the greatest final whistle ever. And after that, we've come off feeling, I don't know, a little bit disappointed, I guess. We wanted more goals, but look, it didn't happen. Main thing is we got the three points and we stayed top of the table. Speaking of which, here it is. The 100% record at the top. Played 8, won 8, 24 points with a 46 goal difference. What could do to grab three points as well, so they keep on our tails. But there is one team that have cropped up. We've got Woodbrook Rovers down in sixth. Now ahead of this, they won one, drew one, lost one. And they've just won again. They've beaten North Furrock up in third, who seem to have turned a corner since we beat them. So we'll keep one eye on their results as well because we know nothing about them. Next week is going to be an extremely tough week for both sides. The first team in the cup have got Stifford United, formerly of Gateway. They're smashing it in the Premier at the moment. As for us in the reserves, an equally tough tie against Legends also in the Premier. We look forward to it. Hope you do too. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, we will see you in the next one.